simply saffron by puja seal and i'm puja and continuing on the uh, food festival for the indian festival season today i'm going to show you uh, one of our vegetarian dish which is made from scratch everything like you have heard about paneer of the one of the indian delicacies which is a kind of cheese which is homemade so usually we buy it from the supermarket but this is the one which is uh, the dish the recipe is called chana danna so it is the cottage cheese which we'll do at our home we'll, i'll show you how to do it then we're going to fry it and then make a curry out of it so this is um, this is a very intricate but very easy to do too so let's show you how first we'll boil 8 cups of whole milk and add 4 tablespoon of vinegar and 4 tablespoon of water and let the milk curdle and you can see the whey has separated out here and the, this is the cheese we are going to first strain it and then wash it in cold water and then again strain it in a cheesecloth and keep it aside for 15 to 20 minutes so i have the cheese here as you sh as you have seen like uh, you curdle the milk with the uh, vinegar and water then you take the whey out and then you drain it and then after that i have put it in a like a cheesecloth if this is a, a simple cotton cloth and I have let it drain for around 20 minutes so I'm going to take it out now so this is how it looks now we are going to mix some spices on it and mash it so in this cottage cheese I'm going to add uh, this is dry roasted um, cumin and I have grinded it with a red chili powder just a half a teaspoonful of the a little bit more the spice and this is uh, ginger is ginger paste with one green chili this is three teaspoonful so I'm going to add one teaspoonful here and I'll keep the rest for the curry and then I'm going to add salt sugar like about half a teaspoonful then we are going to mash everything together now this is the crucial part like you have to mash it really good so that it becomes very smooth in texture the soft like the more you mash the softer it is going to be so I'm done with this you can see how soft and smooth it looks so now we are going to make small balls out of it like this and while you are doing it you can always uh, knead it a little bit more and make balls like this so I'm done with the poster and uh, what I'm going to do is roll it in a little bit of flour and then I'm going to fry it to start with we are going to heat up oil and then we are going to add the cheese balls we are going to fry them or the chana koftas once it has turned golden we are going to fry the other side and keep it frying till it is golden brown then we are going to take it out Make sure you uh, fry in smaller batches because you don't want to overcrowd the pan. Now once this is done, we are going to take two potatoes, dice them up, add half a teaspoon of turmeric and half a teaspoon of salt and then we are going to shallow fry them in the oil. Once they are golden in color, you can see it's all golden in color here we are going to take them out in a plate now in the same oil we are going to add one bay leaf and one dried red chili give it a stir and in this we are going to add two teaspoon of ginger and green chili paste we'll cook it again for a few minutes till the ginger's rawness is gone and then we are going to add two tablespoons of tomato paste and repeat the same cook it for a few minutes till the rawness of the tomato is gone now 
so you can see the tomato has been cooked and at this point we are going to take 2 teaspoon of cumin powder 1 teaspoon of turmeric 1 teaspoon of red chili powder and mix it with 2 tablespoon of water and make a paste and then we are going to add this paste to the um, tomato mixture then we are going to cook the spice mixture and add 1 teaspoon of salt give it a stir then we are going to add on um, about 2 teaspoonful of sugar this is a little uh, sweet curry so that's why we are going to add sugar and now in it we are going to add the shallow fried potatoes we'll cook the spice mixture and the potatoes together for a minute then we are going to add about um, one cup of water uh, you can add a little bit more too if needed once it comes to a little boil we are going to cover it and keep the, it cooking till the potatoes are tender so now the curry has been cooking and you can see the potatoes have become tender so we are going to add the fried uh, chana koftas or the cottage cheese balls so we'll give it a stir and add about uh, two to three tablespoon of water then we are going to cover it with the lid and cook it for a minute so it has it's already been one minute so what we are going to do we are going to give it a stir again and you can see the koftas have become tender you don't need to now we are going to add uh, the garam masala that is half teaspoon of cardamom half teaspoon of clove and half teaspoon of cinnamon powder so once you have added this we'll mix it all together and then we'll turn off the heat and cover it. We are done with our uh, chana damna or the cottage cheese uh, ball curry. So, or you can say paneer kofta curry too. So you can see it looks really good. It's uh, the gravy and they have all soaked up the all the goodness in there. So I'm going to show you how to plate it. So I have uh, put it in the bowl and uh, what I am going to uh, do is like I have ghee clarif or clarified butter. You can use normal butter too. I have melted it and uh, just about 2 teaspoonful or 1 tablespoon. Put it on top. The ghee gives a real good aroma. And then you have uh, the roasted uh, cumin seed and the dried red chili powder. Just sprinkle on top a little bit and then you can garnish with some ginger julienne and some cilantro this looks so pretty and it smells good too especially with the clarified butter smells really good so my paneer kofta curry or the chana dalna is ready and hope you will make it and you will love it too so don't forget to subscribe and like my youtube channel simply saffron by puja seal and also don't forget to push the bell icon because anytime i post a new recipe you'll get notifications and uh, see you then bye